Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Capricorn? I hope you're doing good. How's the weather treating you guys? Weather's been so crazy out here in California. It's like one day it's freaking hot, the next day it's freezing. Just weird. Anyways, let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Cappies, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love and romance for the remaining of the month, March 2021. All right, let's get into it. Your first card here is the Ace of Cups. Funny, because I was shuffling and I seen this card three times. <laughs> so you're definitely talking about new love. For some of you guys, it's the re... Um, renovating your love uh reconnecting uh the next card here is the hierophant commitment marriage wow the star card you guys are starting off strong capricorn we have the hanged man here the three of wands the four of swords The Five of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. The Three of Swords. Very contrast cards here. The Eight of Swords. All right, Capricorn. The bottom of the deck i just seen it so i have to uh, pick up on the energy and it's the high priestess there's a lot of things that are going on right now in your life i feel that for some of you guys you may be dealing with family issues um there may be some, some travel involved here as well but right at the center let's start off we have the four of swords so there is some type of miscommunication or pulling away not communicating or lack of communication for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a Taurus, with an Aquarius, with the Pisces energy, uh, Scorpio, Pisces Cancer energy, um, Fire energy as well, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries type of energy here. Um, so there was some type of some type of block, some type of separation, or giving some time uh, to think about what you're wanting to do or how to move forward. There is a change in perception for some of you guys. Um, so it could be that at the present time, there is like you're feeling very disconnected from your partner. For some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, it could be because you guys are currently going through a lot of family issues or family difficulties. Um, there's almost like this feeling of wanting to push forward or to push like the family or a specific child in a certain direction um and they're kind of refusing that and i feel like for some of you guys it's almost a feeling of um like being let down or perhaps you had very high expectations um it could be uh, for some of you guys it could represent like uh, your child had been going to college and then all of a sudden uh, they're thinking that they're wanting to drop or they're not wanting to go uh, for others, it could have been that they were on the pursuit of some type of career um, and they just, you know, came out to the open and said, I don't want to do this anymore. And it could have been something that they have been doing for years. So I feel like there's been almost like a smashing of hopes. Uh, I see you guys very emotional in regards to this. It's almost like you had, like I said, you had this vision for a child Um to go down a certain path and it's like they're they're refusing that um so i feel that there is a lot of turmoil going on there it could be that they are either rebelling it could be that you're dealing with that or it could represent that um you're just you you had this idea of where you wanted them to go because they had been doing that for a few years and it's almost like they dropped the bomb on you um and this is like throwing you aback. And I feel that this is obviously affecting the partnership, your marriage. Um, it could be that you are extremely going through like being extremely negative. 
um, and your partner doesn't really know how to communicate or how to help you through this process. Um, so I see them being like pulled away or being very standoffish. They just don't know what to do with you, Capricorn, uh, because they don't know how to help you shake that off. Uh, however, what Spirit is telling you here is have faith. Uh, things will work out to the best of their interest. You have to keep in mind, and I understand how difficult that situation could be, but ultimately, uh, we are all, you know, the creators of our own destiny. And sometimes what we want and we think is best for our children is not necessarily what's best for them. It is connected to certain hopes or aspirations that you had for yourself uh, that kind of reflect or mirror onto them. So again, be supportive, Capricorn. Now, for others of you, I feel that there was some type of connection that was predestined. You could have been dealing with a person that came into your life in the past four or five months. Um, and it was a very strong, very powerful connection here. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you were kind of thrown aback um, or you're still feeling a bit like you don't really understand what's going on. And the reason for this is, again, like I said, they're telling me this was a predestined um, connection. But I feel that within that connection, there's been a lot of obstacles in the way. We have the hanged man seeing things from a very different perspective. We have the five of pentacles. You're dealing with the person that has this tendency of coming in and going out of your life with the four of swords. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that they have gone out of your life, but this is a pattern that they have done in the past. They have a tendency of running away from commitment. Now, we also have here the three of swords and the three of swords could represent the fear of being hurt. Perhaps you're starting to see these red flags. And you made the decision to cut communication off as we have the Four of Swords here. But keep in mind, we do have the Ace of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Star card. I feel that this connection, if you're currently dealing with a partner or someone that you've been seeing or dating, and it just hasn't take flight, meaning it's like you guys start and then something happens that life pulls you guys apart and then you come back again. There is no coincidence in this. This is predestined. This is something that they need to come to the awareness of understanding that there's a purpose why you guys are being pulled together um, or it's you, the one that needs to understand this because they will continue coming into your life. And the reason for that, they're still dealing with some type of karmic connection here. So I feel that for them in the past, they could have been in a long term committed relationship. They're trying to find their way out of that situation. They just don't know how. And it could be because children are involved. It could be because they, they're having issues with the baby mother or the baby father, that type of energy. Um, so they, you know, don't really know how to cut the cord is what they're saying. So that's the reason why they're not giving you the consistency that you're looking for at the present time, Capricorn. And for a lot of you guys, I see you guys walking away or making the choice like I'm not going to entertain this anymore. I'm going towards what I'm wanting, which is, you know, to create something that is consistent to build off of a strong foundation, obviously very Capricorn like, but you do have the eight of swords here. So the eight of swords does represent uh, feeling a bit, feeling a bit tied down or not really understanding why it's so difficult to shake this person off. And again, they're telling me this person, it was no accident that you met this person. I just feel that they're currently still dealing with some type of karmic connection or some type of karmic relationship where they're still trying to get themselves out of that situation, especially if children are involved. Um, but I do see them coming back around or trying to create some type of communication. I do see them constantly missing you and I do see them reaching out to you. I could be on the third or last week of March, when you're going to be hearing from them or when they're coming back around and making this communication. Okay, so let's see what spirits, what the Oracle cards have to say in regards to the situation. What is the message here in regards to the situation for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? I never want to feel that way again. I think this is your energy, Capricorn, and I think that the moment you start to experience or feel like the person is not 100% in it or they're not actively pursuing you, you're like, okay, you know what? I'm out. And it could be, sorry, you guys, 
You could be like, I'm out. And the reason for that is obviously Capricorns do not like to waste their time. You guys are an earth um, element and is one of the strongest uh, personalities in the earth uh, family. So you're not about wasting time. And I feel that this person or this connection has made you feel um, in a certain way like they're trying to play you down or they're trying to play down what you're worth and you know your worth. So you're like, I'm not going to deal with this. I perhaps in the past you've dealt with people like this. Um, not necessarily with this individual, though, because like I said, I feel that this is a predestined connection. But they are giving you those red flags. So I feel like you're like, I'm not going to be going through that. I'm not going to be dealing with that. Um, I know more than you might think. This is definitely your energy, Capricorn. I feel that you're aware that they're probably dealing with the person from the past. You're not wanting that uh, nonsense. And it could be the reason why you walked away. And I was careless with you. I feel that this is their energy. Um, like I said, I feel that they, you know, will be coming back. They will be trying to make a connection or communication with you. I usually don't tell people to wait or to sit there and wait for anyone. But I feel that even if you try to move on Capricorn, this person is coming back around. Um, and I feel that when they do, uh, it's going to be because they understand that they need to come in with you uh, wholeheartedly, uh, that they're coming towards you. Um, knowing that it's either for the long run or not. Um, so I don't think that they're going to communicate with you still trying to play these games here. Now we do have 29. Uh, this is a representation of a female energy. So you may be dealing with the masculine energy and it could be the, the person that they're currently dealing with. Uh, you also have here 19 and 19 is a representation of separation. So I feel that there is a separation that's coming uh, with the person that they're dealing with or have been dealing with or are dealing with because of circumstance and they've made it difficult for them. But I feel that there's definitely an ending to that cycle. There's an ending to that connection. And we have the nine uh, bouquet of roses here. And what this represents is harmony. This is uh, a gift. This is a meeting or getting to the point of meeting uh, the person physically seeing each other, bumping into each other. Uh, this can also represent um, fast growth. It's like an offering, you guys. So I feel that when when they deal with this separation, this complete separation, where they're understanding that it needs to come to a conclusion, that's when they're willing to come back in to give you an offering, to give you some type of commitment, some type of knowledge of where they want to take this connection with you, Capricorn. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.